For those of you that don't know who I am, I'm Mr. Dog Poop, an aspiring filmmaker with my own studio in Tampa, Florida. Today, I'm going to answer the question that I get asked the most. What lights do we use? When I started the studio last year, I watched every YouTube video that I could. And without exception, everyone said the same thing. Lighting is the most important thing. So I went out and bought every light that I could find. LED, tungsten, fluorescent, you name it, I bought it. And now, I have small lights. I have big lights. I have the SISTI lights. I have Caniflow lights. I have LED lights. I have ring lights. I have Ari lights. I have soft boxes. I have a shelf full of iconic Moe Richardson lights that have been the standard in the motion picture industry since the 1940s. I have lights, lenses, and cables. I even have stands to put them on. I've got C stands, combo stands, rollers, low boys, high boys. I've got all the boys. And I don't even know what this boy is. The point is that if I want a light, I can buy a light, any light at any price. So which light do we use every day here at Mr. Dog Pib Studios? Well, believe it or not, we just use these $10 Home Depot lights. You probably think I'm kidding, but this is exactly what we use 90% of the time. Two $10 lights, a $12 socket, and an umbrella for a diffuser. And sometimes we use this $50 dimmer. Is your blue screen this evenly lit? Maybe you should try 10 Home Depot bulbs. You can get these bulbs pretty much anywhere for about $10 a bulb. You can buy any common light temperature, 3,000, 5,000, 6,000, and some even have multiple settings right on the bulb. You can buy any bicolor, RGB, and you can even buy bulbs that you control with an app on your phone. So why are you spending thousands of dollars on brand name video lights? Because all the so-called experts told you to? What they didn't tell you is that they're getting paid, making additional commissions, and likely got the lights for free for making the promotional video. We use these because they're simple, easy to move around, transport, and control. These $100 newer C stands actually come apart. Everything packs up, and you can stick a bunch of these in any car. While the YouTube experts are spending hours setting up a six or an eight foot diffusion panel, we're simply opening an umbrella and getting the same result. Look, time is money. And if you have to unpack, assemble, and set up all your equipment, you're losing money and wasting your time. If there's a quicker, cheaper way to get the same result, you should use it. At the end of the day, lighting is not about what lights you are using. It's about how you shape the light, direct the light, and manage the light in your scenes. You're using light cutters, scrims, a gobo, kukuloris. Does it matter if the original light source was from a $4,000 NAND light or a $10 hardware store floodlight when the color, temperature, and intensity from both are the same? I can tell you with all honesty, not one of our clients has ever said that we're not professional because we're using Home Depot lights. Instead, they compliment us on how quickly we work and what amazing results we get. And personally, I think these do look very professional. Let's face it. Nobody wants to sit around for two hours while you get your lighting set up. Sure, it all looks impressive, but the client is impatient, tired, and in a bad mood before you even start recording. So stop obsessing over the light source and use sensible lighting. Don't be a victim of YouTubers and peer pressure to go out and buy the latest and greatest lights. Because here's the real truth. All those professional lighting brands get their LEDs from the same companies that make the Home Depot lights. They're just packaging them up in fancy cases and putting expensive brand names on them. And that has always been the case because traditional lights were just big cases with a bulb in them. The cases were made by different companies like Ari, Desisti, Mole Richardson, but the bulbs were all basically the same. And that's really the same with LED companies like Godox, Nanlite, or Aperture. They don't make their own LED chips. They buy them and put them in attractive cases to get you to buy them. Then they pay the influencers to tell you that you need them. And don't blame the influencers. 
When someone's getting paid $10,000 to make a one minute video, they'll pretty much say anything. So if you still want to go out and buy expensive lights, go for it. I'll go ahead and put some links in my description so you can spend all your money and I get paid. Or just go to Home Depot like we do and save money for things that you actually need. I'm not saying that you shouldn't spend money on gear. I've spent a shit ton of money on gear, but I do it sensibly. Stop trying to build frying pan lights and aluminum foil lights that you see on all these DIY project videos. The lights that you need are already out there and they're very cheap. So if you want to be successful, create your own path. Stop following the experts and use what works, not what is popular. No beer. I was thinking of two, I was just about to say it. You better go fucking get me one.